This is a uh, montage of every single Fear the Crafting Dead machinima scene. This was started three years ago, going on to four years now. Brazil and I had an amazing time making this roleplay, and all I can say is we pretty much put some really cool machinimas together. So check them out. Let me know in the comment sections which one was your favorite. Well, it looks like we have a new flu sample. Just shipped in from LA earlier this morning. Let's take a look. Hopefully we can get a vaccine out pretty fast. This is not an ordinary flu virus. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This virus is like nothing we've ever seen before. And the effect it has on organic tissue, even after. We need to talk to the board. We need as many doctors as possible working on this right away. We better keep this a secret until we know more. Tell the press it's just another flu outbreak. If we cause a panic, it'll only make things worse. Very well. Let's speak with the board and get working on a cure. Hope you're having a wonderful day and let's get straight to the news. Reports from three different states overnight of a mysterious new flu outbreak. So if you don't feel well, go home, take care of yourself and get better. Several pharmacies all over the city as well are offering free flu shots. So if that's what you want, go get that. Well, stay safe. <laughs> Any progress on the cure? We need it as soon as possible, or life as we know it could change forever. No, the virus has little to no effect on any animal we've tested it on. Every time we even come close to a solution, the virus mutates and, well, all our data is made useless. We must be looking at this wrong. There has to be a solution. It goes against our ideals, but we could experiment on humans. You know very well we can't do that. We are meant to save lives, not take them. You're not looking at the big picture here. A few lives could save millions, even billions. <sighs> it goes against my ideals as well, but I would have to agree. We became scientists to save humanity through any means possible, even if it means doing things we aren't proud of. Very well. I'll arrange for some test subjects. Till then, continue on experimentation. These are dark days we are living in and our humanity will be tested. How's that cure from yesterday doing on subject one? Nothing at all. The subject seems to be having no effect, and every time the results come back, the virus seems to be getting stronger. Hmm, let me take a look. Maybe we can mix up a new cure and test it on subject two. Okay, let's go to the lab. to the testing room, now! <laughs> mm. 
we need to get out of here now. You need to go now. There's no way we can both outrun them. I'll distract them. No, we can both still make it out if we go right now. Just go now. Hello? Anybody here? Lock the door behind you and hide quick. They'll break down the doors if they see you. Who are you? And are you alone? My name is Virgil. I'm alone. Are you? Well, I had a friend with me, but he went on a supply run. Well, do you have any idea what those things are? I have no idea. After the radio signals have been down, the government hasn't said a word. I call them walkers. Well, can I stay here with you guys? Whatever those things are, they are definitely not friendly. And it's probably best that we stick together. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Hey, it looks like the supplies are still here. Just be careful. There could be some walkers inside. Look who we have here. You fellas trying to steal from my gas station? Because, let's be honest. That won't end too well. I'm the one holding the shotgun. Look, there's no need for killing here. We just need some supplies. Okay, listen. I'm sure you know what you're doing, and you've probably seen what's out there, but we just needed supplies for just a couple days. Um, is there anything you want for a trade or something? We'll do anything. Uh, sorry about the scare with the shotgun and all. It's just you two went to first be looking for this place since all that's been happening out there. But you two don't seem like bad people. So here's the deal we'll do. An even trade. The 44 Magnum of yours for some supplies. You want to think this through? Fair trade or not, we really need these supplies. Well, you better start grabbing what you can because those so-called walkers, we call them, are right outside. All right, fellas, good luck. Whatever you do, don't get bitten by those things. What is it, Sergeant? We've secured the fence. There is no way in or out. Our communications are still down as well, sir. Make sure we have men patrolling the gates at all times. We can't afford another breach. With all due respect, sir, we can survive in here forever. Do we plan on sending out some of the helicopters we sent for supplies? Yes, I'm planning to send a special op team out tomorrow. Till then, tell everyone on the border to conserve ammo. I have a feeling we're going to need it. Right away, sir. Computer, activate protocol Dragonfire. Override code 47 Tango Tango Alpha 35. Time 
three days. Authorization code accepted. Protocol set. Calling all available jet pilots. Operation Dragonfire is a go. Roger that. GTA fuel package drop. Friday morning. John, hey, jo oh God, John. Is that him? John, that's, that's John. Oh, guess we weren't fast enough. Maybe, maybe there's, maybe there's some kind of chance that we could see. John. No, no he's he's dead. John, man. he's dead. I'm sorry, but there's no hope now. We we can bury oh, him in the backyard. Do you have a safe place to do it? Yeah, there's a there's a place in the back that we can do I'm it. I'm sorry, man. Fuck. Is this a notebook? Logan, come downstairs quick. You need to look at this. Dear Logan, by the time you arrive, I fear I may already be gone. The amount of pain I'm in even just writing this letter is excruciating. But there is something far more important I must tell you. The radio. It turned on and now I fear for the worst. Operation Dragonfire is a go, is what I heard. Yes, I know for sure I heard it. And from my experience in the army, that only means one thing. Complete destruction of a city. Our city. If you get this, run now. They estimated they would be here Friday morning, and I know there will be no hope of survival for anyone inside the city. Logan, you've been a good friend to me, and I hope you are still alive out there and somehow get this message. Your friend, John. And just like that, they had done it. My city. My home. Lay in fire and ashes. Destroyed by the very group I hoped could save us. I don't know what to think anymore. This new world tears at us, but we're just husks. In a way, we have all died. But I will push on. If there is no good left in this world, I'll make it myself. Brazil may still be alive, and if he is, I'll find him and anyone else who is lost. Together, we will get through this. Together, we are strong. Together, we create hope. After the bombings, we realized the dead were attracted to it. Only a few were left behind. Right then, we decided what we had to do. Now was our chance. We could get out as far away as possible. Maybe find some survivors. We knew of a port directly south. We could find a boat. There are several known islands off the coast, suitable for a living. At the very least, we get to find some supplies. Logan went out ahead, searched for a small town nearby, while I stayed behind to gather some crops. We agreed to meet at the port in two days. I hope for the best. That takes care of you. Now it's your turn. Get on my crops. 
Oh, it does work. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't believe it. All right, we can get out of here. Okay, looks like we're here. Zombies are coming. They must have been attracted by the car explosion. All right, go, go, go. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. We got to get out of here. Oh, man. All right, hopefully don't blow us up yet. Let's go. All right. All right. Starting Make sure it works. Now. Is it working? Is it working? Yep, it is. All right. It's good. Let's go. Let's go. We'll be back for you, Logan. Great, we got your attention. 